What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement walkthrough for One Step After Fall. This game is published by the Bergson's Game Studios. You can pick it up today for a price of $4.99. To get the full completion, it'll only take you around 13 minutes. We just have to collect some stuff and get the good and bad endings. And overall, the game is very easy. It's basically just a narrative walking simulator. Also, apologies for my voice. I'm still slightly sick, so hopefully that's not too distracting. But starting off here, we're going to get the achievement for dying. So turn to the right and make your way up the hill here to the tower. You can sprint by using the left bumper, and you can also interact with stuff by using the right trigger. So once you get up here, you can climb the ladder by using the right trigger, make your way up to the top, and head around to the side of the tower, and we can climb the second ladder here. You can also sprint up ladders by using the left bumper. So sprint up the ladder and make your way all the way up to the top here. Once we get to the top, we're going to jump off of the tower and we're going to die and that's going to unlock the big fall achievement. So once you get to the top, turn around, sprint jump off the tower and die and we're going to get a little Dark Souls death here. And that should unlock the achievement. And once we respawn, we're going to start off by getting the good ending since that one's a little bit more lengthy. I figured we'd do that one first. So once we respawn here, we can head straight and we're going to head straight to the sign in front of us here, kind of off to the left. And you can pick up the note here using the right trigger. Then from there, we're going to follow the path in front of us and we're going to make our way to the cabin off in the distance. Alright, so once you get to the cabin here, interact with the front door using the right trigger. Then turn slightly to the right and pick up the note on the window here. And once you have that note on the window, we can turn to the left and we're going to make our way up the hill to the mill. I did not want to go to the mill. There are so many memories. Once you get up here, make your way up these stairs and there's a key resting on the barrel here. Make sure you pick up that key. And then once you have that, you can pick up the note on the door here. And then once we have those two items, we can head back down to the cabin. And we can unlock the front door. Alright, so now we can use the key by pressing the left trigger on the door. That'll open up this menu here. And then you can use the right trigger to use the key that'll unlock the door open it up head inside and turn to the right and over on the bed here you can pick up a photograph and that's going to unlock an achievement and then once you have that turn to the left and we can pick up the note on the table here and once you have that note again turn to the left and head to the back of the cabin and there's a little nightstand here and we can open up the bottom drawer and inside will be some medicine that you can examine go ahead and examine that and that'll unlock an achievement and then once you do that, look at the top of the nightstand and pick up the key as well as the note. <clears throat> and then we're going to unlock the top drawer of the nightstand here. And in order to do that, you need to use the left trigger on the top drawer. That'll open up the menu here. And you can press the right trigger to use the key, open up the drawer, and then you can examine the pistol here. And once you examine it, you can put it back down. And we need to go find some ammo for it, so what we're going to do is we're going to exit the cabin, and we're going to head back to that tower that we previously climbed. So make your way through the woods here on the left side. And again, we're going to climb up to the top of the tower. Whatever you do, make sure this time that you don't jump off and die, or else you'll have to restart from the beginning. So again, if you forgot, you can interact with the ladders using the right trigger, and you can also sprint on ladders, so don't forget. Alright, and once you get to the top, we're going to pick up the note on the table here, just behind the book. And once you have that, we're going to pick up the key on the right side of the table. And once you have those two items, we're now going to safely make our way back down the tower. Whatever you do, don't fall off. You need to uh, slowly nudge your way forward and then interact with the ladder and climb down. And once you get to the bottom here, we're going to enter the bottom part of the tower. So drop down towards the front of the building and you should see the front door here. 
and we can head inside and we can find the next note over on the right side inside of the helmet here. So pick that up. And now we're going to exit through the door that we came through and we're going to turn to the right and we're going to head off into the woods back in here. And there's a collectible back here that we need to pick up. So make your way over here. Alright, so the collectible is going to be inside of the basket here. Go ahead and pick that up. And once you have that, we're going to kind of head back towards the way we came. We're going to head through the woods here off to the left. And you may be able to see a lantern off in the distance. We're going to make our way towards that lantern. Alright, and once we're over here, you want to head down this boardwalk here, and at the end, we can pick up the note right here. And once you have that, you can also pick up the Sea of Thieves book right here as well. That's going to play a cutscene and unlock an achievement. I must be seeing things. Alright, and once the cutscene is over, you want to head straight and off to the right a bit, and off in the distance here you should see a well. You want to make your way over here, and we can pick up the next collectible note, right here. And once you have that note, you can look down at your feet, and you should see a book here. Interact with it, and that's going to unlock the one more achievement in your life achievement. And then once you have those two items, we can now turn around, and we're going to head towards the shed behind us here. But we're going to make our way behind it, and back behind it is a creepy scarecrow that we're going to go talk to, and that's going to unlock an achievement. So make your way back here, and you should see the scarecrow right back here. Head towards him, and now he's going to start talking to us and following us around. So now we can turn around, and we're going to head into that shed behind us. You can enter through the kind of side door here on the left side of it. Head inside here, and inside you can climb the ladder. I'm right behind. Once you get to the top here, use the key to open up the chest. So again, press the left trigger and then the right trigger. Open up the chest and pick up the note here, and then a cutscene should play. Thank you, Mom. I will never forget those words. All right, and now we can head towards that portal towards the front of the shed, and that's going to be the end of the good playthrough. Alright, so once you unlock the achievement there, that is the good playthrough. If you want to skip the credits, you can just force quit your game and restart it. And next up, we're going to start another new game, and this time we're going to get the bad ending. And thankfully, this one is a lot quicker. So starting off here, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to sprint towards the cabin here, off in the distance. And here I am, this time to finish things up. Interact with the front door, and then turn to the left, and make your way up to the mill. I did not want to go to the mill. There are so many memories. Pick up the key on the barrel, and then head back down to the cabin. Use the left and right trigger to unlock the door, and then head inside and make your way to the back, and we're going to pick up the key on the nightstand here, 
and we're going to unlock the top drawer. Again, use the left and right trigger. Open up the drawer, examine the pistol, and then you can put it back down. And now we're going to exit the cabin, and we're going to make our way to the tower, and we're going to climb to the top. I don't know. I have courage to do this. I must continue. Once you get to the top here, you want to pick up the key on the right side of the table. And then again, you can safely climb back down the ladder. Once you get to the bottom, you want to face towards the front of the building, and we're going to head through the woods here, and eventually we're going to make our way to the shed off in the distance. Head inside the shed here, and again climb the ladder towards the back, and make your way up top, and again we're going to unlock the chest up here, but this time inside is going to be a ammo magazine, and you want to pick that up over on the left side, and we're going to take this back to the cabin. So exit the shed, and then turn to the right and kind of hug the tree line here until you get to the cabin. Make your way into the cabin here, and on the nightstand you can pick up the pistol, and that's going to be the end of this playthrough, and that's the bad ending, and eventually your final achievement will unlock during the credits. Now this ending is pretty dark, so I just want to let you guys know that I love you, and hopefully in the next video I won't be sick. So that's it, thank you guys for watching, leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chan Span G1, Tim G84, Jax Jags, Havoc, Fazo Prime Pirate, and Stacy Mackey. Last but not least, shout out to my Patreon legends, Niku Noni Oi, Monarch Reptar, and Aaron Gore. If you guys would like to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash cheetahsguides.